today today we are dealing with the concept of very important concept actually and that is active directory backup and restore how we're going to learn about how to backup active directory okay mm -hmm. so now most organizations would use a third party software to backup they might use semantic or IBM Tivoli, all these tools to backup. But uh, right now, we are not going to use the third party tools. We are going to use Windows backup. But the thing is, it doesn't matter whether you use Windows backup, whether you use IBM Tivoli, whether you use Mantec, it doesn't matter because the concepts remain the same no matter where you are. So if I'm going to use Windows backup or Mantec or IBM Tivoli, and if I want to take a backup of Active Directory, let's understand that. So first I'm going to install the backup uh, tool. Okay, I'm uh, selecting from here Windows Server Backup. Okay, this is a feature that I'm installing of Windows. It's an inbuilt feature. Uh, and that's what I was actually about to ask. If you could okay, please. So I will cancel this. I'll cancel this. I'm on the Server Manager page and I'm on Add Rows and Features. And I'm clicking on Next to this. What you have to do, the Server Manager page Ideally, it comes up um, automatically or what you can do is you can click on start and you can click on server manager. Okay. So we click, <clears throat> we click on add roles and features. What I'm doing is I'm just clicking on next, next, that's it, you know, next. And here it shows me the roles page. These are the major roles. Last time when we installed Active Directory, we installed it from here. Okay. So one of the roles page. And the other one is a features page. In the roles page, you will have most of the critical components like servers, DHCP, DNS. And if I click on next on features page, you'll have the small add-on features, you know, like group policies and add-on feature. .NET framework is an add-on feature. And probably even Windows backup, Windows Server backup is also an add-on feature. So you'll find all features over here. And I select Windows Server backup, next and install. Now, using Windows Server Backup, what we can do is, you know, we, we can take a full server backup. We can take a full server backup. Okay. But then we are not looking at a complete server backup. We are looking at only probably CD just backup. Active. Yeah. But then if you notice with Active Directory, there are many components, right? One is the database okay. component, the DB. The second is the group policy component. Along with that, there may be some system files that are required for active ability to function properly. You got to make sure that you got to be selecting all these things properly so that you don't make any mistake in selecting all these things, right? Um, directly, there's a component given to you which comprises all of this. And that component is called system state. So in short, if you want to take a backup of active directory, you would take a backup of system state. You just back up this. Okay. Hmm? And that's what we're going to do. We're going to take a backup of system state. Okay, it's done. And I click on close. And now I take a backup using Windows Server Backup. So I'll start this tool. Windows Server Backup. And we select from here local backup. Okay, and then on the right hand side, I've got two options. See, we are not really supposed to be learning this tool, but we are, learn, we are supposed to be learning the concepts of activity backup because every tool works in a different way. So one is if I want to back up on a schedule, probably every week, every day, I click on backup schedule, but right now I want to back up only once. So I click on this option backup one because I just want to see how it works. And then once I start this backup, schedule backup, no, different backup. So only one option. So we click on next. And then it says, what do you want to back up? You want to take a full server backup? No, we want to go for custom. And there's something very specific. Yeah, there's something very specific we need to add. So I'll click on add items over here. And from select here, I will select system state. That's it. That's all I need to do. I need to select system state. What if I select bare metal? Just see what happens. Bare metal is again a complete OS backup without the data drives. So uh, E is a data drive. C is a Windows drive. Right. Yes, so it yeah, takes, you know, whatever's required for Windows to backup. When you do bare metal, if you have bare metal backup, 
you can recover the complete windows so, so it's like data will... along with the os bare metal is without the data it's only the os only the data mm -hmm. sorry only the os without data okay so right. if you notice when i select bare metal it doesn't take the e because e drive is a data drive it's not a part data, of the os right. okay right so bare metal is what i don't want to go at this moment because i'm focusing purely on active directory and that's the reason why i select system state i click on okay, okay to this i click on next to this and it says choose the storage where you want to store you want to store it on local drive or you want to store it in a remote shared folder so i want to put it on local drive click on next and let's say drive uh, michael what by any chance just a thought would there be a provision where we can save this on the cloud or something no in this or package in, because the backup is not there but if you have any much. other software which is paid for all these mm -hmm. paid for software they have that option not this software okay they sync to but the yes, one drive and then you can do it. yes you can definitely save your backups onto the cloud now so i will click on next and backup destination e drive next and click on backup 